Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to be looking at how to perform banner grabbing with Netcat. Now if you haven't heard of Netcat or you don't know what it does, well really simply Netcat is a networking tool or utility that is used to create or initialize network connections either with TCP or UDP. Alright, it is also most commonly referred to as the Swiss Army Knife of, uh, of networking, you know, within or amongst hackers. So it's an extremely important tool to understand or, and to know how to use because again, we, we are going to be using it a lot when performing penetration tests. Uh, and as I mentioned in this video, we're going to be looking at banner grabbing. So you, that is also something that might be on your mind is what exactly is banner grabbing. Banner grabbing is essentially a technique that is used to g gain information about a computer system on a network and the services running on its open ports. That is the standard definition. To put it really simply, uh, banner grabbing is, is the simple process, of, uh, the simple process of enumerating the services and the software running on these ports. All right. So I'll give you a simple example as we're going to look at. Um, if I am just to type in the netcat and open up the help menu, you can see that this is the entire help menu for netcat and we'll be going through all the functionality. Hopefully I'll cover the most important bits. Um, and uh, when it comes down to banner grabbing, uh, we are going to use a simple example. I'm going to try and get uh, the banner uh, of the SSH port running on my router. Uh, let's say I wanted to know what service version is running so that I can perform some more uh, enumeration or vulnerability analysis, whatever uh, step I am at. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, the syntax that we're going to be using is we're going to be using the NV syntax, which essentially um, essentially relates to or uh, uses the verbose, as you can see. So uh, this essentially prints out all data that is going to be uh, sent and uh, will be sent back to us. So it displays all and any data that uh, that occurs during the scan and the connection. Uh, and we'll be using the N command, which essentially is the no DNS or does not resolve the host names via DNS. So we're not resolving any host names via the DNS as we are working on our local network. All right. So I'm just going to clear that up and we're going to type in NC. That is the syntax for netcat. And uh, we type in NV and uh, so no DNS and we're going, we want a verbose output. And then we're going to specify the target. So 192.168.1.1. All right, now I need to select the port that I want to perform the banner grabbing on. And to do this, I would simply type port 22, which is the standard SSH port. And I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, uh, it is going to tell me here that I'm running Netcat version 7.70. And it did connect to the target and it is able to enumerate or to give us the banner right over here, which tells us that the SSH port is running SSH version 2.0 drop bear 2012.55. So really important information there. And uh, once you've got this information that can also be added to your notes and can be used for vulnerability analysis. And you could start looking for vulnerabilities for a specific service. Now that is a simple example. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, this utility or the banner grabbing uh, functionality of Netcat can be used on any target and on any port as long as uh, you are simply using it to initialize the connection and to essentially get the data back in the form of a banner, uh, also called banner grabbing. All right, so that is going to be it for this video and I'll be seeing you in the next video.